All right, everyone, it looks like we're live here. Maybe there's a little delay happening. So hopefully this is streaming with me live and there's just a little delay. I'm going to be sharing with you on something that I started speaking about on my stories today. So if you've read those, I wanted to elaborate on this topic of quantum money and linear money, quantum time and linear time. And yeah, I'm just going to start diving in with this discussion here. First, focusing on what most of us are aware of because we have been ingrained and taught and programmed and conditioned to operate within linear money. So linear money says that you move from point A to point Z on your path to success. Point A being where you begin, what your education is, what your background is, what your knowledge base is, what your skill sets are, what your trained to do and point z would be the success that you could reach with your skills and resources and you know basically your professional life and that you walk this trajectory from point a to point z going step by step step by step and if you follow that path then you will reach success now on linear time it's a straight line right because linear time operates in a straight line from the past to the future and within that straight line there are various different things that don't get acknowledged because as you're walking down this straight line on your path to, to success on your path of creating linear money and linear money is also predictable it is predictable in the sense that every week or every two weeks you receive a paycheck and it's for a known amount and it is what you are, you know, chipping away towards, you working towards, and maybe a percentage of that goes to savings, and a percentage of that goes to taxes, and a percentage of that goes to X, Y, Z, all the different things that you have navigating in your reality. Linear time is limited in the sense that because of that, you cannot grow beyond that time. You cannot grow beyond what you're receiving in your linear money spectrum because you're limited by that check. And that linear timeline says, well, this is the only way that I can receive money, which is why I'm calling it linear money. Because in linear time, you can only receive linear money, which is limited. And what ends up happening in linear time is that if you want to progress faster, you have to work harder. You have to push and pull and m manipulate that timeline at times, manipulate other people maybe to get ahead of them. And what ends up happening in order for people to fast track their linear path is they end up, you know, stepping on other people, tearing other people down, you know, everything that uh, people who are holding on to these mentalities of like money being evil or people do bad things for money like that's what happens when stuck in linear time creating linear money people will start to do these things to others in order to accelerate themselves forward well there's a couple issues with linear time one is what we've just talked about that if you want to progress faster on the path it usually means that you've got to step over and skip steps Anytime you start skipping steps, it means that something is going to be compromised, whether that something is you or whether that something is someone else. And a lot of times people opt for the someone else to be compromised because they don't want to be compromised themselves. So that's the one main issue. The area of that issue has created so many toxic stories, so many toxic beliefs around money. It has created all of these scarcity stories as well because in linear time again your money is li limited and if there's a limitation in any way you're operating within the framework of scarcity now the second issue that comes up within linear money and linear time is that while you're on this straight arrow path going from point a to point z that doesn't mean that everything around that straight and arrow path doesn't exist it does exist all of the probabilities of yourself all other people who are energetically in your field all of your ancestors all of the other versions of yourself those are all simultaneously existing 
and they're swirling around that linear timeline that you're on. So whereas the linear time tries to push through, it tries to forge a path, it's like, okay, well, I'm just going to like, I see all this, I like to just call it ish. I see all this ish swirling around and ish isn't bad it isn't good it's just kind of there it's just all the things that amalgamate into our experience of reality linear time's like okay well that is that's difficult for me to make sense of so i'm just gonna power through and in powering through what ends up happening is sometimes that ish Let's get some tangible experiences of that. Uh, one tangible experience of that ish is your body gets sick. You, you know, end up getting something that makes it impossible for you to work for maybe years, maybe months, maybe weeks. And most people in that linear path only have, let's say, two weeks of sick days. So what happens when those two weeks of sick days are up and you're like, okay, well, I have... Lyme disease or cancer or um, even mono like Epstein-Barr virus and other things like that or even the flu sometimes and you know what's happening right now on the planet with the current virus going around like these things last longer than sometimes those 12 weeks. So one example of the ish is the natural um, periods of your body growing through its own internal process that brings up sickness and disease. So that's one example of ish that can collude the linear time. The next example is, uh, let's say something happens to a family member. Maybe you you have parents who are elderly now and maybe they fall down and, and they get hurt and you have to pick up your life and move to go and help them or bring them to you and navigate that. And that might mean a total relocation and no longer even able to do the work that you're doing. Or it might mean that you have to change your schedule in some way, shape or form. Or another example would be, you know, maybe your child gets sick or maybe your child gets, you know, is is um, a very unique accelerated light worker. And he's like, I'm not going to be at school. It's too high energy. And they get asked them to leave school. And now you have to homeschool. And now there's working and homeschooling. And how do you navigate that? So all that ish is not necessarily like uh, all these things that can happen. It's just life, right? It's all the things that happen in your life that can derail that linear timeline of creating linear money. So within that, we then have two issues that are greatly limiting and can often lead us to compromising ourselves because say, in that that second issue where things start to happen say you are sick and you know i had this experience last year where i was very you know i was moving through a lot of physical challenges that made it almost impossible for me to work most days of the week and had i been in a reality where i was working in this linear time i would have been you know quite frankly fucked and because that was not my reality and I was operating in quantum, this quantum money was coming in from all these unexpected spaces while I was laying literally unable to move most days and receiving still continually and learning these codes of the quantum time and of really stepping into that, which we'll get to here in a moment. Now, that wasn't always the case for me. It took me years of deconditioning. You know, I got my first paid job when I was 15 years old. And before that, at 13, I started working for free on a farm. So like working and the exchange at the farm was every day that I worked, I got to ride for free. So there was always this exchange happening. Do this, get this, do this, get this, do this, get this. And then once I started working, like I was working for someone else every single day day basically between school and sports and working at this grocery store and then preparing for like all the things that you know my family wanted me to go a traditional path of university and all these things that I did do and through that whole period it's like okay I'm working to be successful in xyz and I've got to work and I've got to make money and I've got to be a student and I've got to do all these things and there were several periods where I was sick and you know what I didn't call in sick to work. I didn't call in sick to school. As I started to unravel that in the creation of my own business in in my early 20s, like I recognized all these deep, deep fears around just saying like, I don't feel good, I can't work today. 
and this like pressure to go and work when my body was was you know really not well and that just continued to accumulate to this process where you know the last couple years my body just broke it's like we can no longer live this way we have to rebirth this entire body and that is a compromise that a lot of people make because if something starts to you know all the fears come up on that linear time there's fear there's okay well what if i lose my job i'm on this trajectory to hit my you know tenure by a certain point and then to hit my retirement by a certain point and now what if i have to you know maybe take a sabbatical for health reasons or i have to compromise in some way shape or form that fear keeps people pushing and they will you know not listen to their body's wishes to rest or maybe have to compromise how they would want to raise their children if they're not actually able to you know show up and do homeschooling or whatever it is or maybe they have to make compromises and put their parents in a you know a nursing home which is something that they never imagined they would do and yet now they're in this up against a wall because that's the feeling in linear money is being up against this wall and if you think about a wall it's flat so you're literally in linear money and linear time constantly like walking up against a wall and that creates a constriction because even if you just look at our bodies our bodies have curves and shapes and movements right and these curves and shapes and movements it's not natural for us to be up against a wall so linear money linear time is not natural understanding this can drastically transform the way you experience your life and excuse me a moment mm. drastically change your life because we are fighting against nature when we are striving for linear money and we are striving for success in linear time because what is our body our body is nature now look around nature like look at a tree trees bend and move and have all these different shapes like there is no such thing as linear time in nature so we are fighting against our very nature when we're operating in this way of like i've got to be successful and let create linear money it is a process of chipping that away though and i will tell you until quantum money came around the quantum money magnetizer frequencies and started working through those like there was just years where i was chipping away at these stories knowing that there was another way and i tapped into that other way when i chose to basically not take in any money i was like i'm just gonna let money go completely from my life and stopped earning money at all just relied on people donating giving me food putting money in my car and offering me places to stay because i didn't even have a house so it took that complete letting go and then coming back in and having money start sit with me and teach me these other ways that i started to tap into quantum time so whereas linear time is the straight line quantum time is like this <laughs> it's just moving in every direction simul i just like love doing quantum time <laughs> makes my body very happy <laughs> it's like moving in all these different directions simultaneously we are simultaneously in the future in another lifetime in you know our great great grandmother's lifetime in our childhood in the present now moment all of it everything swirling simultaneously right now all that stuff that we call ish in linear time all the stuff that's swirling around that timeline that could potentially come in and interfere with that linear time and your linear success all of that is a part of quantum time Whereas linear time is like, okay, I'm just going to power through, push through all of this and just try to like keep my blinders up and stay focused. Linear time is like, oh, I am all of this. All of this is an important part of who I am. So instead of trying to power through it, I'm actually going to work to integrate and magnetize it, pull it all back into myself because all of that ish becomes fuel for you to receive more quantum. So when we're looking at it from like a, a physics standpoint, right? We have electricity, we have magnet, magnetic, we have electromagnet, electromagnetism. So our linear time is operating with that electricity, that electricity that moves forward, that strikes a certain point, like lightning. 
whereas the uh, quantum is the magnetic, right? So it's drawing everything in, it's drawing everything in, it's magnetizing everything in, and this is like the thunder that rolls through the sky. So when we shift into that quantum, what we have access to is now every single moment simultaneously right now. So whereas linear time would say, okay, uh, let's say my goal is to become a millionaire. And in linear time, I would, you know, maybe sit down with an accountant, I'd sit down with a wealth advisor, I'd sit down with whoever it is, and I would create a clear plan. And that plan might take, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years to reach that plan. And these are the mile markers that I have to hit to reach that plan in linear time. And if something comes up at any point in that plan, and I, you know, am not able to work for a year or something happens, or maybe, you know, uh, 2020 happens and half of, us, half of us lose jobs and, you know, there is no more jobs to come back into. Now, what would linear time say? Uh, it would start to push out that date. I'd start to push it out further and further into the future. And some dates it might say, well, this is now impossible. This is now not going to happen. And in linear time, the dreams can get crushed that way. Whereas in quantum, it says, okay, well, I'm simultaneously a millionaire and wherever I am right now, it's simultaneously happening. So instead of me going out and trying to get there, why not just pull that part of me, grab that quantum and pull it, magnetize it into me now, because I'm simultaneously here and there and everywhere in this instant. Well, as we do that, we have to acknowledge all of the ish that is in the way of us magnetizing that in, whether it is a belief that we have that we're not ready to be a millionaire or that we have to work <laughs> hard to be a millionaire or that we have to, you know, follow a certain path because we've all been conditioned by linear time to be a millionaire or we're, you know, coming up against beliefs of our family and our ancestors' stories about being a millionaire. And we've all those things get in the way of us pulling that timeline in. So when we're in the quantum, instead of trying to push through it, we actually recognize, okay, well, I've got to bring all of those things that are now in the way into myself and to integrate them in inside of myself and to revert the frequency, to bring the frequencies into our harmonic. Because basically in quantum time, and I'm just looking around to see what I have to draw on. <laughs> because this would get, this would be a lot easier. If I could draw. Okay. So let me, let me squiggle this out, right? So in quantum time, we're working in, in a frequency, right? And we're working in frequency in linear time, but linear time, we're working in a very specific frequency. So let's say just linear time's frequency is like this, right? So we're working in this just pure frequency. I'm just going to make up shapes so that you guys can, this makes sense a little bit more. So this is linear. Now we want to work in quantum time, right? And quantum time is just kind of like all over and weaving all on itself. And it's just sort of all over the space, right? So quantum, linear, okay? So now, say we are, we're here. And what we're wanting to pull into ourselves is here. So we're now the circle. And what we're wanting to pull into ourselves is here. So we've got to pull this through. And as you see, it's like on this loop. So okay, we have all of this energy that is, oops, I should not touch that. We have all this energy that is going to, you know, potentially push it back. So like, okay, maybe we pull it to here and then it hits this. Oh, it pushes it back. Okay, so we've got to integrate this into ourselves as well. So then we keep going and we keep going and we keep going. Oh, we hit another one and this would push it back. So now we have to integrate this into ourselves. We keep pulling, then we keep going. Oh, we hit another one. And now we can push it back. Or we can integrate this into ourselves. And then, oh, we have one more that we hit before we can pull it into ourselves. So there's all these different frequencies that get distorted and compromised and transformed and become disharmonic because of toxic beliefs. Disharmonic, not with 
uh, like not with us, disharmonic with becoming a millionaire with this timeline. So when we work in the quantum, it, we can do one of two things. We can go step by step, bring in linear time and actually work with that dynamic of, okay, I'm going to chip away at all of these stories, at all of these beliefs. And a lot of people actually do approach quantum with linear mentality because that's how we were raised. We were raised in linear time. So they're like, okay, well, if this story is from, let's just say like my great, great grandmother who was um, robbed and was incarcerated for wealth and ended up, you know, killing herself. And now every single generation from there has passed on this story that like, it's not safe to be wealthy. So what ends up happening is that linear time will try to come down in because we've been programmed by linear time. And it will say, okay, let me go step by step. Let me go step by step. So this is a big thing that a lot of people in like shadow work and other ways of wanting to transform their relationship with money, they'll just go step by step. And what I observe most often is they do this. They just spiral back. Oh, maybe they'll get to the next step and then they'll spiral back. And then they'll just keep spiraling back. And what that means is, okay, maybe at this octave they start making $10,000 a month. And then their bank account is empty at the end of every month. And then they like finally get stable at 10000 And then they start making 20000 a month. And then all of a sudden they have no money left. And they end up having no money again at the end of every month. It just, they're not a stable container to hold it because that linear time is trying to come into quantum time and it's not addressing the vibrational frequencies that all of these actually are. I hope my squiggles are making, making sense. <laughs> so what we do then in quantum money is we actually utilize frequencies and being that we are alive on the planet right now where we have this awareness of frequency where quantum physics has taken us to this you know exponential place in our potential for what we can tap into we can actually if we shift our mindset we can actually approach the quantum with quantum and what that means is we actually go in and we don't need to know what exactly this is and actually knowing what this is is what can pull in linear time it can pull in this part of us that's like you know our left brain and wants to figure things out and it can pull that part in and it can actually create this backpedaling experience so why we're so primed to actually transform at an accelerating rate right now is because of what we have technologically and what we have stepped into in quantum physics and this awareness of like how to actually use frequency to go in and say, okay, well, here we have a frequency disturbance. We don't need to know what that frequency disturbance is. We just need to know that we need that frequency. So we give ourselves that frequency. And then we come to this next point. Oh, another frequency needs to be adjusted. Okay, cool. We give ourselves that frequency. Boom. And this happens not in days, not in weeks, not in months. It's happening simultaneously. Because in the quantum, it's picking up every single frequency that is, that is out of alignment with that goal that says, I'm going to be a millionaire. Okay, cool. I'm going to be a millionaire right here. It's at this point in your journey. And boom, 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 boom. These are the these are the frequency marks that are not in alignment with that frequency that you exist on when you're a millionaire. So these are the frequencies that we need. And that's basically what we do in quantum money. Because we are no longer choosing to operate in a linear framework. We're also no longer limited. Say we're here now and we're like, okay, well, you know, being a millionaire is really cool. But I actually want to like transform and maybe create another pathway and maybe being a millionaire is actually coming through investments and it's coming through various different projects and it's coming from all these different ways you see at this point there's one two three four five six seven there's seven different things that are feeding that central point which means that that's basically seven different ways that this this being was fed millions of dollars whereas 
if we look on linear time, if we say this right here is where you become a millionaire, well, there's just one path. There's just one point that you can reach that. And then you're going to dip again because that's what happens in linear time. The cycles keep balance. So we are no longer limited when we operate within quantum time. We can magnetize and pull in myriads of ways of receiving. And that's what we experience in, in quantum money magnetizer is that it's no longer just our avenues of our professional life or our work or our clients that resources come in through and ends up coming in through like ancestral things that happen and clear up and 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 um is not bad or wrong and it can as i said come in to be beneficial at moments in our journey where it's helpful to have a plan where it's helpful to like okay now i'm a millionaire now what do i want to do from here like let me develop a plan let me get clear on what my next goal is going to be and then instead of utilizing a linear framework to get there we actually take that goal and then alchemize it within the quantum and that's really the shift that happens between linear time and quantum time is shifting from being a creator to being an alchemist so in linear time we have to create everything we have to go through this process of step-by-step -step creating everything and that is an imperative part of actually becoming an alchemist You've got to master your linear worlds before you can actually tap into an awareness. Like you have to first know that you're a creator. If you don't know that you're the creator creating everything in your reality, then, then me coming in and saying, okay, well now let's use that creator power and take it to the next level. Now let's add magic in. Right? Now let's add some of these fundamental laws of quantum physics into the, into the framework. And let's transform $1 into a million dollars. Let's transform one opportunity into 15 opportunities. Let's transform working hard to not working very much at all, yet receiving 10x every month. Let's transfer from pushing my body to exertion to a reality where my body rests, and as I rest more deeply, I receive more completely. So in order to actually step into being an alchemist, you first have to know that you're a creator. And that comes through mastering linear time. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to build your success in linear time. You just have to wake up and say, oh my goodness, I'm creating all of this. Boom, you've just mastered linear time. <laughs> it can be that simple. And then from there, you have to acknowledge like, okay, well, is it my path to keep forging ahead on this linear timeline? And that may be the case for some people. Or do I want to experience something different? And, you know, I would implore you if you're feeling exhausted and tired and like not happy in the linear world to really ask yourself like, okay, well, is it because now just being this creator in limiting linear time is actually limiting me and limiting my body? And that's when you can start to shift into being an alchemist and working in the quantum and working in the transmutation of energies to create more, to pull everything in and to create more quantum. And that's what we're doing in Quantum Money Magnetizer. We're working with these frequencies. We're receiving these frequencies. And those frequencies start to align us with these timelines of ourselves that are already abundant, that are already living a life of ease. Every single thing that you're experiencing right now, there's a simultaneous probability happening somewhere in the quantum and if that's a more desired probability for you to be experiencing then why are you limiting yourself by linear time to experiencing it now and the answer to that question is most awfully most often and simply our conditioning we've been conditioned by linear time to believe that that is all there is so i'm going to start wrapping this up now if anyone has any questions that you want to ask you can always ask them in the future that being said, uh, it, it's so important to really start making these shifts within yourself because we collectively 
must shift more actually into the quantum because in the quantum the solutions to all of the problems in our linear timeline exist the solutions to all of your perceived problems in your life right now exist in the quantum the question is just whether or not are you willing to actually accept and invest in yourself in the quantum and that's really the invitation of joining quantum money magnetizer is shifting into your quantum embodiment is shifting into quantum time is working through any frequency that is out of resonance with you receiving the wealth that your soul is just trying all these different avenues to give you yet the linear time that you're working through is is just pushing past them all so with this i'm going to wrap up this fun little video here and for those who do have questions for those who want to join the next round of quantum money that begins january 5th at 3 p.m eastern time it is a 30-day program that you receive these frequencies for 30 days we meet four times we meet every tuesday at 3 p.m for the month and it's a lot of fun and we have just exponential growth in every way you can check my stories you can see some of the experiences most people 10 times their investment the investment is $144. It's very, very low. And a lot of people, 100 times their investment within this program. So it's just that's what happens when you shift out of like this is the linear time and shift into quantum time. So for those who resonate and want to be a part of it, I will leave the link in the replay for you to register. There is a limitation on spaces because you can only have about 30 something people in the technology at one time for maximum benefits. So that's why uh, we run it every month for people so that if you don't get in this month, you can join the next month because the group usually does fall, fill up. So with all that being said, I hope that this helps to, you know, really make sense of some things. And if there are some things that I've said that have brought up deeper questions or have brought up, you know, new ideas that you want to bounce off of someone, then feel free to leave them in the comments. I will go back and, and respond to all the comments that are in here. And if it's more of a personal question, you can always send me a direct message. I hope that you all have a beautiful rest of your year and very peaceful and expansive and hopeful stepping into the new of 2021. So much love to you all.